Hey everybody, welcome to Ant Lab Games. I'm your host Anthony. And I'm Francis. And we are bringing you our third installment of more games. More games being sold. This is crazy talk. More games to sell. So we've sold. We've had two videos uh, before this that yes. we had listed fifty. About fi a little bit more. I a think. little over fifty yeah. games in each video. Of that total, over a hundred games, we have how many left? Sixteen. Sixteen. So that's how many of these are going, right? Yeah. Um, they're they, flying off. They the fly shelves. off the shelves. <laughs> we post these videos, and within ten minutes, I'm getting emails about. <laughs> it's like people haven't even watched the whole video. Can I have this? Can it's I have that? Like, Can I do the other thing? Yeah. It's so uh, funny. We've kind you of guys are silly. we've refined the process, and this has been a, a wonderful, honestly, a wonderful experience because it's really this is this last video is the last of our storage. Every game yeah. we have had had in storage is now back in the house mm -hmm. uh, because now there's room for it because we've moved a bunch of games. Yeah. Um, all of the games that we're not selling, mind you, there are. Well over a hundred games we're not selling. More, way, we're more shipping that. out to patrons yeah. on Patreon just weekly. These are review cut like that set the stacks of those games. Yeah, they're all it's review, just like copies. review copies and yeah, this and is stuff extra we've, copies. We've bought on our like own that. over the years uh, for the most part, right? And um, or if we can't remember, we're just going to sell it. Like we're yeah. not going to sit there and, and beat ourselves right. up over whether or not we got it as a copy or if we uh, bought it. Um, it's been if it's past the statute of limitations and it goes back ten years, then we're not even going to question it. Uh, um, yeah, so we're going to do this video. This is our last one of like Anthony said, our games in storage. Yep. And then we're going to come back around. We're going to go through our collection of stuff that we decided to keep. Yep. We're going to cull in again and oh, decide yeah. like what do we really want? Because I can tell you right now, there's a lot of stuff on the shelves behind us um, that we had originally brought over. That now we're like oh, I don't know. May I don't actually know. Yeah. yeah we decided we really sell set it. that bar of like what we want to keep. And so it's hard to like Pretty high. keep like get rid of certain things and not get rid of other things if that's the standard you set. So anyway, exactly. you'll all get a video on that too. In yep. addition to whatever we haven't sold, we'll kind of like bring to you again. We'll reintroduce it again. Um, yeah. For y'all. But, but we have way over 50 today. I think we have like yeah. almost 80 games almost to 80 show games you today. Yeah. Um, and some of them are smaller boxes. Some of them like are like have expanse expansions and stuff. So I think we should yeah, just. We're going to go quick because we should just this, jump is, right this in. is a lot. Yeah. Um, just so you know how this whole works is. Uh, we have priced out everything, what we want to get for everything. Yes. It's negotiable unless you're offering me ten dollars for a thirty dollar game, then I'm not gonna bite. Yeah. If you offer me twenty five for a thirty dollar game, yeah. I might or bite. Or if you're trying to bundle or something. Yeah, bundle will throw in a little deal. You pick, them, pick up stuff. Yeah, local stuff yeah. is easy. We've met a lot of folks picking them up locally, yep. which has been great because mm -hmm. they just get a huge stack of games, no shipping. Um, shipping we ship through pirate ship, so it's yep. really cheap. Shipping mm -hmm. ranges from ten to twenty five dollars. And by cheap we mean we're not sending it to you like on the back of like a horse or something. Right. Like it's it's just discounted, it's discounted because it's like a business account sort of thing yeah so. so it goes through u.s postal service yep. or at worst case ups ups has been the only carrier that goes to canada so we've mm -hmm. done some shipping in canada um yeah. buyer pay shipping so again it's like usually 10 to 25 dollars i think the most expensive was about 25 and, it's and like it was like to california to california or, or canada basically yeah. is where where yeah. it gets expensive um if you're anywhere on the east coast it's super cheap mm -hmm. uh to ship yeah so, even larger boxes of even so. bigger ones yep so yeah. uh we prefer to bundle more mm -hmm. games than just one together yes. so if you could buy more than one uh, ideally, yeah. and uh, we'll, we'll get we'll get it out to you. So, with that said, in the description, the list of all the prices for every game we talk about here today will be on there. Um, just send me an email, antlabgames at gmail.com. Listen to the games you want. Mm -hmm. I will um, get the games in a box, weighed, and I will calculate pricing accurately. Mm -hmm. Shipping. Shipping, mm -hmm. and then I will send you back a uh, an amount that that it is, and then you just, through a PayPal invoice, Pay the invoice, they go out within a day or two. Yeah, and, and again, when you email, like let us know what games you want and also give us your address if that's not abundantly clear because then mm -hmm. we can kind of streamline things. It makes it fast. Um, and it makes it faster. Um, if something's not available, we'll let you know mm -hmm. right away. Um, and like I said, they've been going really quickly. So, so move quick, yeah. tell me what you want, and don't, <laughs> if you come and say, hey, do you still have this? And I come back and I say yes, and I don't hear from you from a day. If somebody else in the meantime comes and says, hey, do you have this? And I say yes, and then they come right back and said, I want it. It's gone. Right. Like, that's yeah. it. We, yeah. we can't hold games. Mm -hmm. If they're going to go, they're going to go. I've had people make me hold stuff. Yeah. And we've lost out on sales mm -hmm. because I held it and they chose not to buy it anyway. So I'm like, you know what? First come, first serve. That's yeah. it. There's no right. There's no negotiation here. Either yes. you want or you don't. So without further ado, here we go. Cool. So uh, I guess we can start with the... Oh, you want to start with one uh, on the table? table? Okay. So uh, first <laughs> game. We're not. I don't uh, know. Yeah, first we're like game, surrounded today. Pixie so. Queen. Uh, we're gonna go quick. Yeah. So, Pixie Queen. 
Uh, we'll go two here. Oh, you're going very quick. Yep. <laughs> Pixie We're not going to talk about it. Like, a lot of these games we haven't played in years, so they've just yeah. been sitting on shelves. Dungeon Lords, yes. Dungeon Pets, this is not a set. Yeah, just They're two games. Each sold separately, two, mm -hmm. two games. I don't think you and I Raise ever played Dungeons. them. Raise Dungeons. We did. We played it one time. We played I think Dungeon we played Pets. Dungeon Pets. We never yeah. played Lords. I kind of like Lords better than Pets, but yeah. honestly. Uh, near and Far, I don't think you need to know what this is all about. This yep. is just, you know. Ryan Lockett. Uh, Red Raven. Yeah. yeah. Um, these are not, look, these are good games. I was going to say, yeah, there's a lot of gems in here. These are a lot of really good games. They're just games that we either don't play or won't be playing probably yep. anytime soon. So. Foothills. This is the two-player version of Snowdonia, I believe. Mm -hmm. So that is another one. Uh, Wingspan, for those of you who love Wingspan. <laughs> or uh, who might love Wingspan, might but love you don't Wingspan. own it. We don't own it. Uh, spoiler alert, we don't. We do not love Wingspan. Uh, I, believe, I believe it's an overhyped and bloated game. Uh, here you go. Here's with the expansion. So these are together. Yeah. Preferably. Um, you don't have to, but preferably. Uh, roll for the gal. Uh, race for the galaxy, rather. I'm keeping roll for the galaxy, yeah. by the way. <laughs> race for the galaxy. I do have the um, uh, the Gathering Storm expansion, which adds mm, solo to right. it. So that would come with it. So just so you know. Um, old Tree. This old is a tree. game we played once. We bought it. We also got the expansion, the Old Tree. Unopened, alive, undead, and alive. Um, little, like, little like calm exploration game. Yeah. Uh, we've got others that we Fantasy. kind of prefer. So. It's just not yeah. not our speed. Uh, there's others we prefer to play. Yeah. And there and you go. And it's in like perfect shape because we perfect, played it, yeah, like played it one time. Times. Not even a couple. I think we played it one time. One time. <laughs> Enough to go old tree. Yeah, old Which tree. you have to do in the game. Yes. And then you're like, mm, maybe. Yeah, not for me. <laughs> maybe not. Uh, okay, so Terraforming Mars. You've all heard of this one. This is like uh, the one of the original versions. However, uh -huh. what I do want to disclose dun, dun, dun. here, yeah. this comes with acrylic overlays, overlays for yes. the game boards. Which Made this by game, our friend Pete at Board Game Boost. Yes, these are the official Board yeah. Game Boost overlays uh, for the game boards. And they are, they make all the difference, they by do. the way. Oh, yeah. Uh, to this game, so if you're looking to get a copy of it with yeah, the insert on this is horrible. If you mm -hmm. know Stronghold Games and their notoriously bad inserts, <laughs> um, you'll understand why. Yeah. So opening the box, it looks busted, but it's all good and it's all in there. It also comes with an unopened copy of Terraforming Mars Prelude expansion. So okay. that those board game boost things alone are like forty bucks. Yeah. So just so you know, the deal, the value there is. Okay. Um, you'll, you're going to be surprised at this one, but Heat <laughs> pedal to the metal. Um, Bye, Heat. <laughs> Bye. I don't know why everybody loves this game. It's another one I feel is like super overhyped. It's overhyped, cool. Yeah. It's cool. We can talk Let's about it Let's not downsell it because we want somebody to it's, buy this. No, it is cool. It's a neat experience. It's if just you love not... racing, this game is for you. <laughs> you love racing. Monster <laughs> Monster Trucks. Monster trucks. No, we've got to, we've no, got to put our, our sales pitch faces on because yeah, this is no, what we're No, it is to. a good game. It's just not one that we're, we, the two of us, are going to play. Yeah, it's good yeah. if you've got like, a lot of people... And you all want to bust on each other for like drawing too many cards. Yeah, when you're trying to sell games, you don't want to talk about. I know. This is why I don't sell games. Yeah, I is... play games. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Call all to right. Adventure. We'll yeah. All right. Off. So this was um, Call to Adventure. I personally love this game. Anthony doesn't, so we will never play it. Um, but you kind of like build your own story as you play. It's mm -hmm. a little set collection, a little, uh, a lot of adventure. And then we also have the. Name of the Wind expansion. We're big fans of yep. Patrick Rothfuss, and still waiting for that third book. But in any case, yeah, uh, and it comes it, it with the with the adventure, so you get to play through like all the all the things, like all the Fey and like everything. From I'm the also book, so. a massive fan of the Stormlight Archives by Rand Brandon Sanderson, which they yes. did an expansion for with this. However, you I don't like this game. I, I just don't feel like it. It really conveys the story. I feel like I'm matching symbols. You are matching a lot of symbols. That's true. That's Come all on. you're really doing. Come you're on, like linking yeah. stuff together with matching yeah. symbols. But so anyway. not for me. Right. Um, now who's also, doing a bad to be honest job with you, selling. I'm also really uh, drilling this our collection down to um, games we love, mm -hmm. themes we love, yeah. publishers we love, mm -hmm. and designers we love. If you're a publisher or designer that we just don't agree with or, or mm -hmm. like the the games you're putting out or just not yeah. into it, we're not going to keep that in our collection. It's not mm -hmm. for us. So uh, we're we're getting rid of it. Right. Yeah. Um, all right. Shipyard. Shipyard. The original. The OG. This is OG, folks. <laughs> OG Shipyard. Um, yeah. That's going. <laughs> it's yeah. got a million and one pieces. I know they just did a reprint. Yeah, we're um, hoping to get the reprint. Which I don't yeah. have. I will get it at some point, but this is the OG if you want mm -hmm. a copy of it. There you go. At the Gates, Gates of Lo Yang. Yang. This another Uve. This box is a little busted up, yeah. but this game is like probably it's old. old, man. Yeah. Super old. This is OG. Um, OJ Uve. Back in yeah. the day when. Uve made really good games. Yeah. 
<laughs> Sorry. It's true. It's true. It's though. true. It's I, look, I just call it how it is. They like, are. They're better. I, I've got no shame anymore, folks. My filters are gone. <laughs> so you're going to hear raw. So you turn 50 and all of a sudden. Once like... you turn 50, you just don't care. Like, bang. Like, I don't love his new games. In fact, we've been shedding them all. Yeah, we have. Quite been. frankly. Yeah. Like, I, yeah. like, Feast for Odin is probably one of four games of his mm -hmm. I'm going to keep. Fields of Arl. Fields of Arl, yeah. maybe. That's a but big again, maybe. Shmaybe. Yeah, we'll see, I guess, when we go through and call again. But yeah. you're right. It's... Thank you. Call again. Thank you. That's what we're doing. Yeah. yeah. Um, hit zero. Hit zero. That's neat. It's like a it was zombie. A cool game. A cool yeah. little zombie it game. It is a. Uh, I believe is this Martin Wallace? It, I actually don't know. Fun for the whole family. It is. Um, I thought it was designed. Yeah, Martin Wallace. Yeah, it it is, is a Martin Wallace game. It's very good. I like the components in it. It's kind of fun because you're like mm -hmm. on the road, so all your components and stuff is like stuff you'd find. It looks like car. you made it by yeah, hand. Yeah, it's pretty neat. Speaking of Uwe Rosenberg, patchwork yeah, for two. <laughs> that one's got to go. Yeah. Lucky buyer. Here you go. Show that. Oh yeah, here you go. Imperial settlers rolling right. So just a rolling right. You know, we don't do too much of these. I feel like rolling rights were real big, like a yeah. couple of years ago. And not enough for us. Just not for us. They're just not what I want. Uh, Euphoria. This is a good game. No mm -hmm. lie. Yeah. Um. It's not bad. It's just, again, not for us. What do you Go think ahead. I thought we had an expansion. It does. I think it might be in the box. It might be in the, the box. box. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Uh, build a bit. Uh, oh, no. Hold on. No. Wait. Ignorance is bliss. Yes. yes it is. So is the, the expansion yeah. is in the box. Um, comes in both, all of it. And it's just another one of those. Again, like, we're, we're, we're kind of like keeping to certain publishers and designers. And yeah. Stonemaier games for us, they just they're not like I got rid of Scythe. Like we're getting yeah. rid of we're getting rid of Wingspan. We're getting rid of Euphoria. Like these are some of the but best it's games. It's funny because we're not really we don't mean to do that, but it's you're noticing that like you're, you really start to notice like what you're. They don't work for us, and they liking. it's just not something we uh, we bring out. So no offense to any of the publishers right, and designers, yeah. they're just not for us, right? Yeah. So uh, Star Trek Panic. Mm -hmm. Is good. Which we talked about, I think, when we did Dead Panic, right? I think you so. You were like, oh, yeah, yeah like movie art. Yeah, that's a, that's a no. That's a big no for me. <laughs> uh, the Palace of Mad King Ludwig. Yeah. Another good game. Yes. That's good. If you're a newer gamer and you have not played some of the classics, I'd probably say this is a classic. Mm -hmm. It's a good one. It is a classic. tile placement. Sure. You're, you're building your little castle. It's really cool. It's, it's neat. neat. I like it. Uh, here we go. Railroad Revolution. But over, I guess overplayed This is us. a pretty good game, too. Yeah, this if is a like train game games. as well. Yep, but it's a train game. Uh, speaking of classics, Tokaido. Oh, yeah. This is a real classic. Beautiful. This was like one of the first games that I was like, this is a beautiful game experience. Yeah. I, I didn't love it. Out of space over Put them over here. Actually. Right up there. Okay. Then we'll do a clean up. Then we'll do second. a cleanse. Yeah, yeah we'll do a re restructuring. Here. Um, here, let me pull these ones oh, first, yeah. and then we'll do this small, uh, okay. little small box games. Original John Gould. Build the wall. Yeah. Right. Or Zhang Hao. It's not that. Okay. <laughs> Zhang Yu. Jungle. I'm not Chinese. Yeah. I'm Vietnamese. Yeah. I know you're all saying that's the same thing, but it is different. <laughs> okay, it's different. Rococo, original, original. Rococo. So it's like all of our original versions of the games. Still just as good. Mm -hmm. But we have the, we have the, the new one. So. The new one. Yeah, we do have the OG. The, yes. No, that's the OG. Yeah. We, we do have, have the one. The, this one. And Deluxe one. Yeah, so that's our problem. Yeah, it is. It's got pride, pride of place. Purchase. Pride of place. Um, Isle of Sky. It's a good game too. It was so funny. I, I have memories about all of these games, mm -hmm. and we'd be here for like nine, probably nine years if I relived all of them. Mm -hmm. But um, I remember playing this at a con when we picked it up, mm -hmm. and we were that we were playing with these like seven and eight year old kids. Yeah, Do you yeah, remember yeah. that? Yeah, yeah, and they were like so serious. Yeah, that was fun. It was fun, but they were mm -hmm. very good at this game, good. and I was like, wow, okay, guys. That was good. Uh, oh, another overhyped game. Welcome to. Welcome to. Didn't like it. Welcome to the sales rack. There yeah. you go. <laughs> um, Legendary Inventors. This was a cool one. That was neat. Yeah, a it was light neat. for us. Very, yeah, too light for us, but, but, but cool fun. Theme. And especially if you're like, you know, it's a good like thematic one if you want to like learn about inventors and stuff. Yeah, and it's cool. It's and it's got fun. beautiful art. Yeah, I like this one. So, all right. Yep, that's a good one. That's all you had? There? That's all I had in that pile. Uh, here's yeah. another pile of small ones. Okay. Go. You should take one look at this game and realize why I will never play it. Yeah, I like don't do anthropomorphic weird. animals, and I definitely don't do anthropomorphic vegetables. Yeah, you're not done um, with that. Mr. Cabbage Head's <laughs> Garden. The only anthropomorphic animal games I will play are like those, like Mice and Mystics and Peacemakers and stuff like that. But um, 
Yeah, this like vegetable head people. Yeah, is, like, really she's not down me. with that. So I think it is a good game. It's got cool like seed packet art and stuff, which is neat. I think the game itself is the pretty game fun, is very good, but, but she the, I the pictures creep me out, man. It freaks me out. I can't do it. Original Fantasy Realms. We have the new deluxe version. Yeah. So, but awesome game. Awesome game. If awesome, you, if you awesome, don't have awesome. this, you need to you buy need this. It. Yes. Like right now from yeah. us. <laughs> uh, innovation card game. It's innovative. <laughs> It's an innovative that. small box game. Yep. Uh, uh, we have a bunch of these. I should have put them all together. Yeah. But we'll, we'll, save, save it off. And yeah, we'll put it off to the side. We'll, we'll talk we'll, about them all we'll at the same time. Um, Cerebria, the card game. So if you're familiar with Mind Clash is Cerebria. This is like a small card game version of their big game, Cerebria. Mm. Uh, hostage Negotiator. Mm. So this is the basically the predecessor to Final Girl, mm -hmm. uh, where you're actually a hostage negotiator. And <laughs> whoa, surprise! Uh, so this is the base game. Plus, I have unopened packs: Abductor Pack Four, Abductor Pack Two, which is actually open, um, and Abductor Pack One that come with it. So if you want to jump into this and be a hostage negotiator and save some people's lives, bang! There you go. Dragon's Gate College. Mm, mm -hmm. This is like a wizarding school game. We didn't like it. I hope you do. <laughs> Buy it from us. Thank you. <laughs> Dastardly dirigibles. You're building an airship with cards. <laughs> we didn't love it, but again, these are games that our dislike or distaste for games is your I benefit. Know. A lot of these are older too. Like I think yeah. Dastardly dirigibles was like a 2016 game. It is. June it 2016. Is, right? yep. Yeah, first edition. First edition. First printing. Okay. Um, yes. Go ahead. Nations yeah. the dice game. Now this mm. contains, and this is this one's going to break my heart a little bit, uh, but it does have the um, unrest expansion. Yeah, I'm um, still really surprised. You're this. I am surprised. So um, this somebody might not, might not be available. So <laughs> if you want it, you better hit it early because I might change my mind. I'm not selling the big nations, yeah, like my, the full right. board game. I am selling the dice game. Yeah. Um, and that hurts my heart. It does have the expansion in it. Um, Kanagawa, which is just like a build your art studio type of game. Mm -hmm. Bruno Cathala, beautiful art. Um, too light for us. Too light. Ancient World, another uh, Ryan Lockett game. Yes. Uh, oh just God. not something we play often, but you may love it. Ugh. You got the last one down I there? I think so. And when I say last one, I mean the last one that's last within one arm's reach. In our pile. Because we're going to reset <laughs> after this. We're going to cut. Not called Big Box. Yes. This... <laughs> on the side it says Big Box. Yeah, and, and on, the list, the, on the list you put just Big Box. And I'm like, <laughs> What is Big Box? <laughs> uh, run, fight, or die. Yeah, so run, fight, or die, the game. big box version of it. It's a zombie killer game. A lot of, I think it's a lot of dice chucking ish yeah. with, with over the top characters and zombie killing. Yeah. A lot of fun. Maybe good for you. Yes. Um, all right, so we're going to pause here and we'll be right back because we're going to re finagle and get some more games over here. Oh, okay. Oh. That was exhausting. <laughs> Winded. So we for brought you, the next. it was nothing. We should put like hold music in there. We should. Uh, yeah. All right, let's let's begin. Dream oh, home. This has had a lot of plays. This one actually got played a lot. Mm -hmm. This is a good game. Um, you build your dream home. Yep. Uh, it's a card game, tableau, tableau builder. builder. Ta it's definitely cool. tableau, tableau. Yeah. Tiny towns. I don't think yeah. we ever played tiny towns. No, we opened it, set it up, never played it. Yeah. People love it. People. But it's a little light for it. us. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, there's another movie of Rosenberg. It's, <laughs> it's another one. Ray Kiel. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Can you know. fulfill the orders of the hungry tourists to win uh, the game? Yep, yeah, not for us. Rush MD, this is an, a real time live doctor game. Yeah, real time live doctor game, very stressful cartoon art, and yeah. we'll probably just play clinic or. Yeah, something, something heavier else. for us. Yeah. We're going to get to the heavier stuff. Yeah. Legendary Creatures, New and Shrink. Yeah, also very good. Yeah. Played it, but no, just have a shrink. Ex Libris. Oh, yeah, our good friend Ali, I think, just did an unboxing of this game. Yeah. Um, I personally love it because it's like it's about one of those. Library. It's about a library, it's about books. Yep, but yeah, we're not but playing it's, it. It's just a set collection, icon collection, which yep. I know is your favorite. Uh, thing. It's a wonderful world. This is a deck yes. builder, I think. Mm hmm. Um, and it also comes with the Corruption and Ascension yes. expansion unopened. Yeah, unopened. So this kit together could be all yours. Played once. No. <laughs> no comment. No comment. Yeah. She didn't love it. I, um, I thought it was. Very I wasn't boring. high on it either, but a lot of people are, mm -hmm. so I don't know why. Crisis. This is a pretty cool game. Mm -hmm. Goes back a while. It's like a dystopian type 
Yeah, something Euro-y, like yeah. light Euro. Mm -hmm. uh, this one hurts getting rid of, but I don't play it enough, and it's. I think somebody else could get a lot of use out of it. Star Trek Frontiers. Mm -hmm. This is the Star Trek retheming of Mage Knight. So yeah. a lot of Vlada Shavadal leaving our collection for some yeah. reason. I you know what? For Mage, no reason. I love I Mage it, Knight. Yeah. I think it's a really good game. I think that's probably the only game he designed that I actually like. Um yeah. There you oh, go. here you go. Eek. There you go. But I like code names. Yeah, I eh. <laughs> I don't know if that counts as a board game yeah, though. Yeah, I don't think so. Uh, Shadows of Brimstone, Swamps of Death. Um, this I'm not sure if I painted this or put it together, but now, I glued some of the minis together. That's the hardest part of this game, is gluing the minis together. You'd understand <laughs> uh, if you had it. Uh, they come in like real, like separate pieces. You have to glue arms and legs on and then mount them. Like, are you kidding me? <laughs> so the so, work's already been done. Yes. For you. Uh, deck boxes and sleeves for all the cards. Like, you are walking into a gem. We never played this game. <laughs> I know. So you're, you're basically getting a game that's like brand new and put together for you to get it right to the table. Yeah. Like I said, you've got a. There's, a bunch, there's one, two, three, four, five deck boxes in here of sleeved cards mm -hmm. for the game. Are you kidding me? Yeah. A touch of evil. Yeah. A touch of evil. <laughs> uh, so this is a, you know, it's a miniature RPG mm -hmm. western meets Cthulhu-ish yes. demons. I can't take that. Oh, I just can't take it anymore. I can't take this anymore. All right. So that's that one. Oh, Here this you one go. hurts. Talk about this one. Uh, a lot of pain. Assault, yeah, Assault on Doom Rock. This is a like an old Kickstarter I backed. I know they re did a reprinting of it. Really unique, cool role playing game. Uh, play solitaire. Um, really enjoyed it, but I don't play it enough, so um, it's available for you. CV. This is one of our first reviews. This is a fun game. Yeah, you can go back and be nostalgic. CV. And. Um, it, you basically just build your life. It's, it's kind of sad. Yeah. It's not as dark um, as um, a Pursuit of Happiness. Pursuit though. of Happiness was the dark we yeah. got rid like of. Like the timer's time your death. Ago. Like it basically, is, when you die, yeah. the game's over. Like, <laughs> that's okay. what my mom's like, they should make a game <laughs> where you like play through your whole life and mm -hmm. then at the end you, you die. I'm like, yeah, it's and called like, Pursuit of Happiness. There's a game like that. Yeah. <laughs> we got rid of it. Yeah. Um, Bonfire. This one hurts my heart because I feel like we played this a couple of times mm -hmm. and I would have loved to play it more times, but we just never got around to well, it. We and may we have a lot of. Um, we may get that chance if nobody buys it. Yeah, so we'll see. So we're throwing it out there, throwing it out to the universe and yeah. to you guys. But Giving you guys a chance because we care, here's the thing we care so much about, about you. board games. Well, I shouldn't see. I'm so bad at yeah, pitching let's, this. Yeah, this. Buy our games. Sorry, buy You're our never going to get your hands on this copy. Yeah, I'm like, if we don't. Well, you won't get your hands on that copy because yeah. that one is our copy. Right. But if we want to buy it again, we sure can. Oh, this is like a nostalgic one, too. Seven Wonders Duel with the Pantheon expansion. Yep. Um, excellent, excellent game. Um, we loved this. This was also one of our first reviews that we did. Mm -hmm. um, but they are coming out with that new version. The Lord of the Rings the Lord one. Lord of the Rings version. Which probably I want buy instead. That, so. Uh, here, I'll go real fast. Okay. Thanos Rising. This is an Avengers uh, game with dice, cards. It's pretty fun if you're into the Avengers. Jaws, asymmetric uh, kind of two-stage game where you're protecting the island. Like one player plays uh, Jaws. It's kind of like hidden movement type stuff. All the other players play the um, three main characters. Mm -hmm. uh, pretty fun game. Pan Am, another game. Uh, these are like Target games, actually. Yeah. Uh, so this one is about running airlines. It's running airline routes. Which is really, it's it's really cool. A really good this is game. a really good game. Believe I it. recommend this one to a lot of people that are like, all they do is go to Target to buy games. Yeah, that's one really of the good. better ones from Target, to be honest. Uh, all right, here, I've got some. Oh, but cool. I can't speak to any of these. Oh, you can't? Okay. Dungeon of Fortune. Dungeon of Fortune, um, Tasty Minstrel, so... A lot anything of TMG to, anything games TMG, too. you can't get your hands on yeah. anymore, so this is a pretty, a pretty neat little dungeon -y game with cars. I don't remember quite frankly what it's about but mm. you'll it's do the research dungeon. and see if you want it here's, here's a Taranoth this is oh how do you say there was a <laughs> there was a version of this game that was done in an IP that Fantasy Flight lost so they rethemed it for Heroes of Taranoth I can't quite remember who the IP was that they lost that they were no longer supporting it mm. um i thought it was a fun game the other version of it so i was like oh let me try the heroes of terranoth version because this is this is their like terranoth uh ip which mm. is like descent and it's uh um, right. runescape and runescape. all of that right yeah. um rune age so 
uh, but it's in the same. It's the same game. They just it's it's in a different um, theme setting. Yeah. So it was a fun RPG, to be honest. Um, Shadowscape. Yeah, this is another dungeon crawler, small with box game. Deeper dungeons with expansion. an expansion to it. Uh, was actually really neat if you're into like solo dungeon crawling mm -hmm. RPG. Uh, Shifting mm -hmm. Realms, new and shrink. Mm -hmm. uh, this game came out a while ago. Yeah. it's um, um, like a like a builder. Like you're like, building your races. You have different like fantasy races yeah, that you're building. It's kind of like you're in olden times, but also you like went back in time, and, and it's like kind of a mashup of different themes. Look it up. It's, it's Shifting Realms is what yep. it is. Uh, new and Shrink. So Medoras okay. is also New and Shrink. We bought it, never played it. It's been on our shelves for decades. I know. Beautiful game. Beautiful. But I feel like we might have played it at like Atacon and then bought it. Maybe. But, but you can own it. Five Tribes. I don't think this one needs any oh, introduction. Yeah. Yep. But we're keeping Yamatai. Yes. And we're getting rid of... Uh, again, yes. she doesn't like these these desert-themed games. I know. And it's, it's not... The truth. Not for nothing, Truth. I guess, as they say. Uh, Spirit Island, another oh, yeah. one that people love. Mm -hmm. uh, we're just not into these. I personally types of games. really liked Spirit Island. Yeah. Um, but you, I think, to really appreciate it, you have to spend a lot of time with it yeah. and really understand how all the different factions work. And we just yeah, don't we have like time. it. We just don't. Yeah, not don't anymore. It. Not yeah. enough to keep it. Right. Yeah. Uh, City of Iron Second Edition, another mm -hmm. yeah. Red, Red Raven. Raven. Yep. Yeah. So, don't need to explain that one. Um, do you have that other tiny epic over there? Here you go. Any tiny epic that you are looking for, we probably have right here. Well, so. that's, well, that's not true. Some <laughs> we have tiny <laughs> epic like a, galaxies. We yeah. have tiny epic galaxies beyond the black. Yep. Um, tiny epic zombies. Yeah. And my personal favorite, tiny epic quest, because right. you and can equip your meeples with little swords and shields. And, and tiny things. epic quest comes with the play mat. Yep. So if you're you into, oh, mm -hmm. sorry. <laughs> there you go. Right? There. Tiny Epic Quest? Yep. Is that the one? That's the one. Okay. Yep. Um, just so you know, what if you're like, oh, what's that like? Tiny Epic Quest is kind of like playing Zelda. Yes. In a board game. Yes, it is. It's very cool. Uh, and it's so. like a small box, but then when you take everything out, yeah. it's like It takes up as much space as this giant and, play and your mat meeples, does. And you're just going around questing and stuff like that. So somebody, so cool. please buy our Tiny Epic collection off of us. Yeah. <laughs> so that we don't have to store it on go. our shelves. I don't know. Ooh, Death Angel. This yeah. is a solo game built in the Warhammer universe. I'm not even sure if you can get this anymore, mm. like brand new. Mm. Uh, but it's a card game, and you're basically a space... Uh, I think you're like a space hulk, and you're going through... And you're in, like, these mech suits. Yeah. And you're going through a ship, and there's, like, the aliens are coming out and swarming you, and you're, you're killing them. It's a really hard game, but it's really cool solo. Neat. Another TMG. Ah, yeah. So this is Cthulhu Realms. Uh, this is a Cthulhu-themed game of Star Realms. Mm -hmm. So they, they just changed the theme up. So it's very yeah. similar gameplay, but in the Cthulhu universe. And another TMG. Why is all of our TMG uh, Yeah, I don't know. So this is Harbor. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a small box TMG game um, on a harbor. Also Scott Alms, yeah. if you're liking Tiny If you're epic. into, yeah, Tiny <laughs> Epic. Um, Kodama. This is a really neat, very light, too light for us. Um, but you're like building these little trees. You're really make these trees with the cards. So mm -hmm. if you like games where you're like making things out of cards, like this is a pretty cool one. Yeah, it's a little set collection. It's pretty fun. Yeah. Oh, here we. I got two more small uh, so, ones here. So uh, Deep Space D6 is a, uh, a spaceship game where you roll dice and you're like dealing with a, like different events that come through. It's a real simple game, but really fun if you're playing solo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> This one goes without needing oh, any Jaipur. Yeah, she hates Jaipur. It's Again, it's the Beautiful desert, game. desert theme with spices. I know. I Equals, just can't. doesn't have a, a place in our home. I know. It's unfortunate. Unfortunate. But it's beautiful, yeah. which is really funny. I don't know why I, I, don't know why I just can't. Because I, the with, just I flooded the market with camels, camels and one she, time all and she kept like, doing was getting camels and uh, hated it. It was so bad. And it, I had such a yeah, big like, victory no. that game. She's like, I'm never playing this again. No. Theseus Dark Orbit's a Portals game. Just not something that we're into mm -hmm. anymore it's a space theme one uh europe divided this is a two-player historical, uh, historical game russia new cold war in europe i guess it's kind of like a lighter version of um what's that one like uh twilight struggle, twilight struggle kind basically. of yeah but yeah. much lighter much yeah. different uh inuit is a cool the snow folk oh, really this was not to interrupt you this is david thompson oh okay too, so uh, on go. europe divided so Oh, yeah. Like so he does solid games. He does the war yeah. games. That's, yeah. that's his shtick. Uh, Into it, the mm -hmm. Snowfolk. This is a beautiful yeah. uh, card game based on like the Eskimos. Another neat like tableau builder. Yeah, uh, you're real building pretty. Your little tableau community. 
screamy. Real, real pretty game. Uh, this War of Mine. Uh, really cool, dark, uh, war-themed game where you're like survivors and you're going around trying to get yeah. trying to get materials and food and you're upgrading your... your, your uh, yeah, it's a cool survival game. Yeah, up upgrading your, your basically your home yeah. base and like all sorts of bad things happen. It's like dark events. It's like very dark, but yeah. like cool components too where yeah. you're like scavenging for stuff. Yeah, so this is an early, like, early Awakened Realms game. Yeah, that's uh, really cool. And finally, I think this is it. I our think so. Piece de resistance <laughs> is Destiny's. Um, I by, feel like it should come in a much smaller box. By Lucky Duck. Yeah. <laughs> Look, we fell for the uh, hype wait, on no, this. Wait, no, because we need to do a review of this. So i got to open it up. we got to right. see as many. Yeah, I'm sure Maybe most of you played it. Maybe this is perfect for you. I don't know. Um, yeah, so it's got... Like, there's minis in here that, I mean... You want to talk about minis? Look, I'm, small, I'm a small person. Yeah. But this, this like what you can't even this? tell who they are, and you're basically it's an app driven it's like, game. Tiny. Yeah, it's app driven too. And you are you're you're trying to solve your own personal destiny, yeah. and it's and you're running through the app, and you're going around a map, you're revealing and exploring, and you know it's basically whoever solves it first. It's like a race. It's a race. And you kind of are tricked into thinking you're doing different things, but you're really all doing you're the, all same, doing the thing. same thing. Um, we, I mean, we tried to play it with the kids. This is light. We played yeah. it, I think, with Harrison and maybe Ethan or something yeah, a couple really... years ago. And, and even they were like, I don't get it. Yeah. So, they were like, this is know. lame. And yeah. honestly, at the end of playing this, after all the hype, I yeah, said, this so is much hype. We haven't touched another game in this vein no. from this publisher yeah. since we played Destinies. Right, honestly. yeah. Which is... not, not, no knock on them, but I just am not into their games. Yeah. I just don't think they're deep enough for us. Right. It's just not our shtick. If you yeah. like basically playing a game that's a story, that's mm -hmm. on rails. Yeah, and plus you have an app, so it's like and an, app, an added like, but kind of complexity. you want to play a game with an app that's a little more... I do Descent. Descent. Second like edition. The, the third edition. Yeah, third edition. Yeah, play that. <laughs> And, and you yeah. actually feel like you're playing a game yeah. with a little bit of app-driven right. you know, that does the bookkeeping for you, yeah. which I appreciate. Right. But when an app is the whole freaking game, yeah. I'll just play it on my damn phone. Right. Right? I don't need yeah. tiny miniatures and I, that I can't tell who's who. Right. You know, as you get older, you can't see so well, right? So it's the <laughs> They're small. really small. They're like very, right. So very just tiny. honestly, somebody out there is going to love this. Yeah. So because, if you want to try it, maybe this is your chance to try it. Don't, there pay, are don't people, pay full price. Yeah. There's people yeah. out there who love these. Mm-hmm. I still haven't figured out why there's so many games out there that people eat up, and I'm just like, really? This is the game you're playing and loving about? Like, but hey, to each their own. Yep, exactly. Right? That's what makes us all special and different, right? Yeah. We all love different stuff. Okay, so looking I think around, that's it. Actually, I think that's all of it. So, that was a oh, lot. you know what? Uh, Actually, no, because no? I put two games on the list that I didn't pull off the shelf. Oh, okay. Believe it or not, these are late entries. Oh, but, late entries to the uh, But I recently decided that Legacy of You. Uh -huh. Like not me. me. <laughs> no, not you, me. And Hadrian's Wall yeah. are two games that I'm willing to part with now. But you liked both of these. I do like them both, lot, and this yeah. is a really tough call for me, but I think it's time. We're just we're just at a point where we need to really get Well, and it's like this, it right? Well, we were while we were pulling the games out to sell, mm -hmm. like Roll for the Galaxy, you're mm -hmm. like, oh, we just haven't played it, and like you really want to play it. And I'm like, that's the point, though, right? Yeah. Like... We're clearing stuff out so that we can play the things yeah. that we really want to get into um, that maybe we haven't had a chance to get into because right. they've been buried in boxes or we've been busy doing other stuff. So, yep. yeah, so that's that. Exactly. So there's our games. Bid away. Uh, actually, there's <laughs> well, no bidding. Bid. Just, just buy. Buy <laughs> just what buy. you want. And uh, like I said, if you, you buy enough of them, we can work something out yeah. um, and, and try to get them out to you as quickly yeah. as possible. But boom, there you go. Good. Good? All right. All yes, right. I guess if you've ever, uh, if you've played any of these games, you have recommendations for other people, you own them, you hate them, you love them, leave all of that stuff in the comments. And uh, we like to engage with you there, but I know other people like to check it out too. Yeah, exactly. Um, uh, yeah, everything's in the description of the video. Yeah, all the and all the game it. the game yeah. list will be in the description uh -huh. with the prices. Yep. Um, and so just send yeah. the emails on and we'll... And a last plug again for our Patreon, oh, uh, yeah. because those are the folks that are getting all of our stuff that we can't slash won't sell, mm -hmm. um, which includes a lot of um, publisher donated copies and 
review copies and stuff that's in shrink, small box newer stuff, good games newer and a lot of stuff that uh, we're just older games that you can't get a hold of. We anymore. have a lot of like duplicates, so like yeah. stuff that is it's like stuff in this pile isn't necessarily games that we're not keeping. Oh, we just shoot. have too many of Keep them. Keep talking. Um, so you know, because again, like publishers will give us like extra games to give away and things like that. So I gotta price these out. Um, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's uh, right. really I saw these on the shelf and I didn't realize it, but. Uh, Terraforming Mars Colonies and Terraforming yeah. Mars Venus Next. Right. These, are, These are also going to go with the yeah. Terraforming Mars, so bang. Yeah, you got to price them out. I'll price them out. Okay. So I'll price go. the whole kit. Yeah. All right. There you go. That's it. So <laughs> send me the email and we'll get we'll get some deals going. Like I said, we're going to do uh, payment is through PayPal and I will and you just have to give me an email address to use for PayPal. Yep. All right. Thanks. All right. Uh, there. Thanks for watching. Look forward to hearing from you. Buy the games. <laughs> we'll see you next time.